What's going on guys? This is something I've been asked quite a bit lately. How do you grow your legs? Now right off the bat, I'm going to tell you straight up, 99% of you, the reason is, is because you don't train them enough. This goes for anything that's not really growing. A lot of times, guys that I talk to, they're like, I don't have a big back, I don't have big legs. Well, that's probably because you don't train back and legs as much as you train the rest of your body. Even if you commit a full day to each of them. And here's what. So many guys go in the gym and they hit chest for two hours. They hit legs for 45 minutes. They hit shoulders and arms for two hours. They hit back for 45 minutes. That's why they're not growing. Now, that being said, I'm going to tell you guys some tips, some key exercises you should be doing to train legs. Because sometimes it is just... You don't know what you're doing. And I mean, fair enough. So I'm going to give you guys a rundown of what you need to be doing if you want to get big legs. And this is something that helped me really bring up my legs, I've found. And um, yeah, this is my advice. So I'm going to give you three exercises. Um, I'm going to give you four exercises. And if you did only these four exercises, your legs will grow. So let's start with that. Number one, I think you guys all just saw this coming, is squats. You've got to do a type of squat. I don't care what it is. It can be a front squat, it can be a back squat, it can be a goblet squat. Personally, front squats and back squats, I think, are the best. It's because you can load the most amount of weight. Now, if you have bad knees and you're like one of those people, if you lift, first of all, you better do full branches of motion. Please, like, go ass to the ground. Take the four plates off the bar when you can't do it. And put on 225 and do 20 reps if you can. Ass to the ground. Your legs will be on fire. Start with that. Then pyramid up and wait. So what I normally do, I'll pyramid up to a set of one or two, a heavy set. So I'll go, I'm going to do five sets. First set, you're going to do, forget about your warm-up. So throw on, of, let's say, a plate if that's your warm-up. Do that as a warm-up. That doesn't count. Then you're going to do... 12 reps, 10 reps, 8 reps, 6 reps, 4 reps, 2 reps to 1 rep, top set, and then one more set of 8 to 12 reps. Wait, that's 7. So yeah, you're doing 7 sets, sorry, not 5. So start off with 7 sets of squats, and that's where you're going to get the mass. And I, I, like, I truly believe this. If you are natural, you need to get stronger to get bigger. They are correlated, okay? So... Seven sets of squats, pyramid up, and go to failure on every set. If you put it on 225 and you're supposed to get 12 reps and you can get 15, then do 15. And then put on whatever, 275, whatever, doesn't matter. But work your way up to a set of somewhere, when I said the top set of two, it's like between one and three reps. So, but do as many as you can. So if you think you're going to get 315, you're like, I want to try to get it for two and you can get it for four, still do four reps. So anyway, seven sets of that. Seven sets of squats, pyramiding up, then one other set, like 8 to 12 reps, to get a pump. Then, um, laying hamstring curls. And um, I love this exercise. I feel like you get a great contraction through your entire hamstring. Do a full range of motion again. Um, I normally do anywhere from uh, 16 to 20 reps for the first set. And I do five sets. So... Let's just say 20, 16, 12, 8, 6, and then the sixth set, you do a drop set. So you get six reps, then drop the weight and get another six to eight reps. Um, really squeezing, really just going for a pump. Then, I know you guys are all going to, like, this is probably one of the exercises you guys actually do, is um, leg extensions. Now, you're not going to like the way that I do leg extensions because it's hard, and the reality of training is that it should be hard you have to love this stuff and you have to love the burn learn to love it because if you don't i can't help you like a guy that goes in and just three sets of eight leg extensions no your legs aren't going to grow unless you're taking a shitload of gear your legs aren't going to grow they're going to grow a little bit at first but you're not going to get massive legs doing leg extensions i promise you that so there's going to be one guy that's going to like comment down below i have massive legs and i just do leg extensions well, your genetic, well, your genetic, most people aren't like that. Well, I can't talk. Anyway, for most of you guys, you're going to have to lift heavy. And you're going to have to go for a pump 
for your legs. And high rep leg training sucks, but it works. So leg extensions, first set we're gonna do, uh, oh my goodness, how many do I normally do? Oh yeah, 30 reps, not 50. 50 would suck. Uh, you can try that if you want. But first set, you're gonna do 30 reps. So 30, 20, and now your legs are gonna be on fire. Then you're gonna do 15, 12, 10, eight, six, and on the sixth, you're gonna drop the weight and get another 10. So your legs are gonna be burning. And I recommend a rest for leg extensions and hamstring curls, those two, I recommend only about 30 seconds rest. Squats, and get into your heavier sets, two minutes. You probably don't need, you don't need any more time than that. But be recovered for your heavy compound movement. But other than that, I'm saying 30 seconds, 45 seconds between sets. So then, finally, stiff leg deadlifts or good mornings. And um, they're very similar movements. Personally, I switch between the two of them. But you're going to go the same rep scheme either way. So I normally do one workout, I do good mornings. One workout, I do stiff leg deadlifts. Now, I do a lot of deadlifts, so I'm trying to do some more good mornings. But anyway, um, we're going to start light. And you don't need a ton of weight for this exercise. So there's some guys out there I know they can do 315 for reps. Awesome, good for you. But go light. Don't be embarrassed to throw 95 pounds on the bar. Or tens, or only use the bar. It's all about feeling this. So um, start off, do 15 reps, nice and slow. 15, 12, 10, 8, 6. That simple. And then drop the weight and do another set of about 15. And believe me, your hamstrings will be on fire. If you do those four exercises for legs, like those rep schemes, with low rest between them, I guarantee you, you will get leg results. So anyway, give this a try. Let me know if, you, if it works. Um, you guys have been saying my legs have been growing. Yes, they have. I'm very happy about it. Uh, my squat, started squatting more, started training legs more. And guess what? My legs grew. It's not that hard. So um, it's really that simple. Just do a full workout. Don't be that guy that goes in to do legs and has three sets of leg extensions, three sets of hamstring curls, and some calf raises, and walks over to the gym. That's why your legs aren't growing. So anyway, give this a try, and um, yeah, let me know how it goes. Anyway, turn on post notifications, click the little bell so you actually know when I'm posting. So I'm posting twice a day right now. I'm going to try to be answering more of your guys' questions because I get a lot of them on Instagram, and I'm just going to start filtering through them because that's what you guys want to hear. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, comment if you want me to do this for some other um, video for some other muscle groups and yeah that's pretty much it so if you're not subscribed please subscribe to the channel channel's growing really appreciate the support and um, I'll talk to you guys soon